I love the little camel in the background. Isn't it cute? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feeling very Khloe Kardashian vibes today. Oh, girl. Anyway. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you my April favourites. My top favourite things this month. So let's get right into it. First things first. Perfume. My favourite perfume at the moment is Victoria's Secret New York Teas. I got this in the duty free in the airport coming back from Amsterdam like a year ago. I've literally been saving every little drop in this bad boy. Like, it's so sweet and fruity and oh, it's just delicious. Like, it smells so good. Definitely my favourite perfume. I really want a new bottle of this, so if anybody wants to buy me a new bottle, feel free to. But yeah, I really want to go travelling somewhere or just so I can get it like another duty free again. I really need more. Second thing. Thin? Second... Se <laughs> Second thing is this jumper that I'm wearing, my Amsterdam jumper. I love it. Guess where I got it? In Amsterdam. <laughs> it was it was in one of those like little market things for 20 or 25 euro. I can't remember which one. But oh my god, it's so worth it. It's like an evergreen colour, which reminds me of Ireland and it's cozy. It's big and cozy and I love it. And if I could live in it, believe you me, I would. Anyway, stop blabbing, Leanne. Get on with your video. My third favourite thing this month is kind of a package deal. The Simple Range. Meister Cleansing Water and Facial Toner. Amazing for taking off your foundation, just cleaning your face. If you're feeling like you're breaking out, get these in there and it will fix all your problems. They are... A plus. The next thing is a moisturiser from Soap and Glory. The Righteous Butter Body Moisturiser. It's so good. It's so thick. It's so creamy. I just like lather this on my face after using the micellar water and my toner. And oh my god, it like because I've dry skin, so it just makes it feel it gives it all the hydration that you need in your life. Next thing is also skin related. And another thing that I could not live without, it's the mask of Magna Minty from Lush Cosmetics. Love, love, love it. It's a face and body mask. Don't mask those spots, mask of Magna Minty them. Mm. And it's animal cruelty free, vegetarian society approved. All good things. All good things. And it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. Next thing is hair related. It is purple shampoo. Because I just dyed my hair. This, or I shouldn't even say dyed, I should say bleached my hair. I used to be brunette. So if I have a picture of me brunette, I'll insert it right here on the screen. So that's me in all my brunetteness. And this is me in all my blondness. My roots are better because that was like my na my natural hair so it took to their better. And then all down here is kind of like orangey, brassy, I don't know what it is. But anyway, it's still blonde compared to my brunette hair so I'm happy. I think I bleached it like two or three weeks ago. I think it's two weeks ago. Literally got bored on a weekend and I was like, I'm going to bleach my hair. Oh, and it comes like... I should actually just move on to this one because then this is actually what I bleached it with. That is bright. It is the Jerome Jerome Russell B Blonde High Lift Powder Bleach Permanent Maximum Lightener lifts up to six to nine shades, and that is what I needed in my life. It says for blonde to dark brown hair, and then you also have to buy these separately. It's the peroxide bottles. I got forty volume. Just cause it, cause the box comes with like three or four sachets. I think it's four. Yeah, cause I used three already. That's really bad. Put that back in there. So yes, I used this. I used 
one of the sachets then straight after well not straight after it like a while after it a few hours I used the second one then I was like I really can't dye my hair twice more than twice in one day so I left it until the next day it was really brassy and really orange so I was just like oh feck it my hair is really tough and nothing's ever happened to it in the past so I was like feck it I'm just gonna bleach it a third time so I bleached it a third time then I was happy enough with the roots because it came out like it came out like nice and like white blonde so then I tried this bad boy in it, left that in for like six, seven hours, walked around the house with a big purple head on me. But it worked, it really worked. But then I still wasn't fully happy. You know, I have hairs all over me. I still wasn't really happy with the blondness of it. So I went in with a blonde hair dye. I'm pretty sure I have a picture on my phone, so I'll insert the clip here of the blonde hair dye I used. That one. And I recycled the box but I just have this little like the little what would you call it the little tab thing that you can rip off that reminds you of what you got I got the Garnier Nutrice Truly Blonde in Chamomile 100 extra light blonde and that did the job as well and then I still use this like like once a week and kind of like a treatment just leave it in for basically as long as possible to do the job is that everything oh okay I talked for quicker than I could Oh, BTW, side note, repeal the 8 badge, any of you out there in Ireland, check online that you're registered to vote because there is a referendum coming up, I'm pretty sure it's the 25th of May for repealing the 8 and it just needs to be done in Ireland at this stage, I fully support it, it needs to be done for safe health, safe abortions available to all women in Ireland who need it and want it and yeah basically I don't even know what to say because I'll probably feel like I'll say something wrong but it needs to happen because abortions are happening all over the country whether it's talked about or not so I think it's just about time that people we can trust people to make their own decisions it's their body it's their decision who am I to stand in the way of you needing this in your life but like you ima like imagine I vote would no so then like you can't do it so you have to do it like illegally or unsafe like I just that's how I feel like about it like I just don't want to be the reason that someone else can't get the health care that they need or like touch wood if anything were to happen to me or if I was like raped or got pregnant and you find out your baby has like a fetal or norm abnormality, I can't even talk. Like I would like to think that my country stood behind me and then I, then that I have the healthcare available there if I needed it kind of thing. Does that even make sense? I don't even know. Anyway, I'm gonna end on that note not going to drag you all down. If you want to support it, support it. If you don't, then that's your decision. Oh, my shoulders are so stiff. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, leave a comment down below of what videos you'd like me to see, what you want me to do. And I think that's everything. Catch us next time. Bye.